first jump way too high. We can make it. But it's your first time trying. What, you don't believe in me? Look, it has nothing to do with believing in you, all right? It's just that just because you say you can do something doesn't mean you can. Yes, it does. <laughs> you are so arrogant. <clears throat> fine, fine, but don't expect me to watch. Jump is too high. No, it's not. Will. Kaylin, come on. What are we fighting? You should be happy for me. I am. I'm just worried. Worried? But what? I don't know. What was I so worried about? I mean, I love that he takes risks, or at least I used to. Now we're together, and my world is so perfect. I just want to know it isn't going to get messed up again. There's a devil standing on my tail, but I don't have to be him. And there's an angel that is tempting me to fail. Photographer is already here. You know how important this is to me. It's not every day your wife wins an award. No, it's supposed to be a photo of the entire family. I guess that leaves you out. So, I guess everything on the newspaper is digital now. Yeah, I can even follow my story from the car. Yeah, see, I, I still develop my photos. You can change any image in the darkroom. You make art, I work on a deadline. No, Jim, no. You can't make it up to me. Come on, let's do this without him. You want to try one with a smile? They aren't breaking up. I never said they were. I just said that they were acting like it. <laughs> they had a little fight. Jim missed Dory's award ceremony last night, and now this? It's no big deal. Besides, what do you know about how families act anyway? I've been in way more families than you have, Griffin. And speaking from experience, when the fighting starts, it means big trouble. Well, speaking from my experience, Mom and Dad are solid. Like a rock. Don't be testy. I'm not breaking up with you. How's she running? How's she running? Oh, I'm good. My front bumper's a little loose. If it fell off when I was driving on the highway, it could be very dangerous. But, you know, I just... I can't afford to take it to a garage, so... You know the deal. Your car, your responsibility. How's your mom? To bring flowers? Do I need them? Chocolates would be nice. Dinner out, a movie. When? 
We're trying to crack this case. Counterfeit money in High River? Man. Yeah, and it's big. Stan Peterson got stuck with six fake bills when he sold some horses at the auction. It's a drag. Anyway, Mom's in the clinic. She has a hammer. Thanks for the warning. Here, let me help you with that. No, thank you. Maybe a little more to the left? You know, you might need two nails then. I don't want your help. I was just trying to. Well, winning this award is one of the most important things that will ever happen to me in my life. I didn't ask for much, just that you. What if they break up? They're not gonna break up. How do you know? I mean, I've seen it happen lots of times. What if they send me to a new foster home? Oh, Caitlin, they love you, okay? They're not gonna send you away. Well, I mean, maybe I could buy Dory a present or something and tell her it's from Jim. It might help. Okay, but let me pick it out, all right? Because uh, I know what women like. I can make him uh, any size, any, any metal you want. I don't know. They're sort of a novelty item. But I tell you what, I'll give them to you at cost. You can try them out. It's kind of dory. How about some lotion? My mom likes it. Yeah, that's real romantic. Yeah, this is, this is total dory right here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Who's that? Will Findlay? No, the girl. Oh. Ha ha. Caitlin Seeger. It's from that man that was just here. Said he wanted you to have it. Why? Who is he? Oh, come on, let's go find out. There he is. Maybe he gives the chimes to a lot of people. Why? I don't know. Free advertising? Do you really think mom and dad are going to split up? I don't know, man. They still aren't talking. You know, maybe it's our fault. Two of my foster family split up when I was with them. They were always fighting about me. Okay, then we got to be totally cool. Give them absolutely no reason to fight. Yeah, okay. Become, like, invisible. Yeah, we should stay in our rooms every night and do our homework. Do you think that they're going to split us up? I guess I'd live with my dad. I, no. No, I, I'd live with my mom. I don't know. I want to live with both of them. And with you. I was too busy to check it at the time, but then later, I noticed that it's, it's different from our other bills. Yeah, the lines in the outer margin are blurred. Yeah. I think it is counterfeit. Do you remember who gave this to you? Oh, yes, sir. Man gave me some change for some chimes that I bought from him. Novelty item. He makes them. Can you describe them? 
Oh, sure. He was uh, ordinary, dark hair, about your age. He was kind of scruffy looking, you know, like he'd been on the road traveling. Just looking for the um, the road to Logan County. Oh, this is it. Do I know you? Uh... Caitlin. You're the guy that gave me the chimes. I'm... My name's David Seeger. <laughs> You're my father? My father. That's, uh, that's you and your mother and me. You've, uh, you've grown up to be a beautiful girl. So, so what, you just, you take off on us and now you just show up? Look, I wanted the call. I was, I was just afraid you wouldn't want to see me. Maybe I should go. No. No, don't go. Let me put my horse away. So, what's your horse's name? Bandit. <laughs> I remember uh, we bought you this book about a horse called Bandit. Yeah. Yeah, Mom used to read it to me a lot. You like to read? Yeah, yeah, English is my best subject. That's great. So, uh, who are you? I mean, what do you do? I'm a sculptor. I work with metal, big pieces. I make those wind chimes and sell them to make some extra money. So you're an artist? I am too, I guess. Like father, like daughter. What do you do? I'm a photographer. I bet you're really talented. No. I don't know if I am. But I try really hard. Hey. You know, the most important thing is to believe in yourself. And that you believe in your work. Don't let anybody tell you what to do or how to do it. Because art comes from someplace deep inside. It's mysterious and it's personal. Never forget that. I, um, I gotta get going. What? You're leaving? No, I just, uh, I got a thing to do in town. I'll give you a call. Maybe we could get together tomorrow. Okay. You could show me your photographs. Yeah, maybe. Bye, Katie. Bye.
happens if you and Jim break up? <laughs> we're not gonna break up. You see us like parents, but we're just people. We're just, we fight just like you and Griffin. But we'll figure out our differences, because... because we love each other a lot. You don't believe me? Oh. No, I believe you. Uh... My father showed up. What? Uh, he's here in High River. He came to see me at the ranch. Are you, are you sure it's him? Yeah, it's him. He showed me a picture of me and my mom when I was little. He's an artist. It's just so hard to believe. You, you must feel very confused. Yeah, I am. You remember when I was looking for him a while back? Mm. I really wanted to see him. But then I decided that I wasn't ready. And now he's here. And I'm, I'm angry. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, he left me and my mom. Worst case scenario, I'll come stay with you. You can stay in my room. But when Taylor comes, you'd have to disappear. Oh, like I'd want to be around you, Jim. Can I help you guys? Uh, yeah. How much would it be to weld my bumper? Oh, I don't work here. I'm just borrowing the equipment. I tell you what, if you give me a few minutes, I'll do it for you for nothing. That's great. Thanks. Hey, Griffin Lowe. David Seeger. Seeger? I know Seeger. Caitlin? Yeah. She's my daughter. Certainly true, but I saw my handwriting. Kids. I guess the past few days have been kind of rough on them, too. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Yeah, I'm sorry you weren't there, too. I missed you. I missed you, too. Jim, there's something that you need to know. Caitlin's father, Griff, told me. I, I feel like a bomb has been dropped on me. Yeah. Showing up out of nowhere without any warning. What, what if he wants to take Caitlin home with him? He can't. At least not right away. Legally, we're responsible for Jim, we can't stop her from living with her real father. Apparently he's... He's a welder. He gave her these chimes that he made for her. What? A man passed a counterfeit 20 at Fields yesterday. He was selling chimes. Hot work. David Seeger? Sheriff Jim Lowe. Caitlin lives with us. I know. I'm curious. Why'd you come here? <laughs> it's kind of obvious, isn't it? Hope you're not planning on taking Caitlin away. Well, whatever our plans are, they don't have to be approved by you. You're wrong. I'm her legal guardian, and besides, I'm not sure you're a fit parent. You don't even know me. You passed a counterfeit bill at Fields Department Store yesterday. You got the wrong guy. You were identified by the store owner. <sighs> Look, if I passed a counterfeit bill, I didn't know it, all right? I've been traveling. Yeah, well, so is the money. What towns you been through? What are you getting at? Just tracking the money. Tell me, Seeger, how'd you pay for the gas? Cash or credit card? Look, I don't have to answer any of your questions unless you're charging me. I'm not. Yet. Just don't leave town. Why would I? My daughter's here. Where are you? 
Katie. Sorry. I meant to buy you something, but I mostly remember you as a little baby, and I, I didn't think you'd want a stuffed toy. No, that's all right. You don't have to buy me anything. What was I like when I was little? You know, at first I was, uh, I was afraid to hold you, and then you'd, you'd smile up at me, and I'd pick you up, and you'd snuggle into my arms and fall asleep. your mother's smile. Why did you come to find me? I just... I had this... ache in my heart. It seemed like forever. I guess I figured it was time to heal it. But... I realized that so much time had passed, and I wasn't sure if I'd even know you. I tried to find you once. But I got scared. I didn't know if I was ready. I didn't know if I was ready either. But I do know that when I look at you, I don't feel the pain anymore. So how'd you end up here? It's a long story. Well, I'm not going anywhere right now. You promise? Uh, you ever heard of the three-strike policy? I had, like, six. <laughs> was you promise not to leave right now. Well, what if he leaves tomorrow? Before... I wasn't sure if I wanted to know who my father was. And now that I found him, how do I tell him I want him to stay? <laughs>